unwelcome. Harry and Meghan shattered as US audience in stitches over cruelist joke about them on TV. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been told they need to get a life as TV audiences are left in stitches when the couple is mocked by the guest host on the Wendy Williams show this week. American actor and comedian Michael Rappaport stepped in to host the US chat show The Wendy Williams Show this week. On the show, Mr. Rappaport brutally mocked Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's latest ventures and his antics left the audience in stitches as he claims the couple need to get a life. On the show, Mr. Rappaport said, Prince Harry, Harry Ballgame, and Meghan Markle are getting a reality TV show according to page 6. They let the cameras into their home for a juicy project, insiders say it may possibly be about their breakdown with the royal family. He pointed out that he could hear the audience moaning and groaning, adding I feel the exact same way. Mr. Rappaport commented that he suspected the show would be like a human sleeping pill, a comment that left the audience laughing. He continued, these two, you, Meghan and Harry, need to get a life, adding you left the royal family to do a reality show. The actor and comedian called the couple Meghan and Harry Markle, and not Sussex, as the couple wanted to do things their own way, adding that she is driving the ship. He added, I just don't understand it, they were doing philanthropy and now they are doing a reality show. He stated that Harry went from being a real prince to being an actual real housewife. He continued, you guys said you didn't want attention, you didn't want to be in the limelight but then you were starting a reality TV show. This is how you really become royalty in America, start your own reality TV show. He went on to say that he doesn't know what they want or what's their end game. The reported docuseries is just one project pending in their $100 million Netflix deal. It comes as an expert has warned the presence of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could destabilize the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and cause resentment among other members of the royal family. Camilla Tomini of the Daily Telegraph said. You can include the Sussexes but you don't want there to be some sort of Harry and Meghan side show going on when the main event must be the Queen, Tomini explained. Of course, if they're going to be seen out and about with their children, it's going to generate publicity. She continued, equally, there will be other members of the royal family who are doing the daily grind who will resent being overshadowed by Harry and Meghan, even if they don't admit it. You're not going to want to have the likes of Princess Anne and the Earl and Countess of Wessex, for instance, who, day in day out, plant trees, unveil plaques and go to the opening of royal envelopes, only to have the media focus completely on Harry and Meghan who aren't playing a role at all in the so-called family firm. Tomini noted there could be some chilliness between the Sussexes and the Cambridges as relations between the two couples remain distant. The royal expert continued, the most interesting addition to the proceedings is Meghan. Previously we have seen Harry by himself in the UK and now the Duchess will come back into the fold. The body language and the reading of it is going to be quite fascinating. However she insisted the focus for all camps will be on ensuring the Queen remains front and centre of all proceedings. There cannot be any briefings from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's team hinting at any discontent between the family members. She added, the main priority for all the members of the royal family is, as it always has been, the Queen and making sure she isn't overshadowed. Nobody is going to ingratiate themselves with the public in the UK or overseas if they overshadow a 96-year-old monarch on the most momentous and historic weekend of her reign.